Good morning and welcome to another tutorial. Today's tutorial is all about MIDI recording. Um, and I'm going to show you how to produce a quick MIDI recording and then drag it into multi MIDI recording to give you a multi track big sound. Okay, so first thing first, let's let's make a start. So on the main panel itself there's a recording button over here. Press it. Press it once and your screen will change to this. What we're looking for is quick recording because we simply want to record our main song quickly and then we will drag it into multi recording. So press quick recording first, just tap the screen and this is what appears. And this is already set in standby. So I'm going to press intro and then I'm going to press synchro start and make a start. One, two, stop now if, if anybody's good to message me and say what is the name of that song it's rubbish it's just made up not a song um so i just wanted to record something that um a didn't infringe anybody's copyright and b would give you the ability to show you what to do okay so now i, I need to save this song so i press save on the top of the screen which i'll just show you here uh, and then i'm going to save it onto my usb and I'm just going to call it 68, which is the, the temp, the um, key uh, time signature it's in. Click OK. So 68. Two fat, well, nearly two fat ladies. Um, OK, so let, let me show you next. So what you do is press exit on the screen, on the main panel. Press exit once, and then choose on the screen multi-recording. Now, the multi-recording will be able to load your song. So where it says new song at the top, just tap once and go to where you've saved your song. Uh, and there we are, 68, demo, love. So we're looking for 68. And then simply press exit once. This will take you back to your MIDI recording option and your multi MIDI recording option. So now if on the screen I press play, it will play my melody. Okay, I want to put a piano over the top of that. I want to have, have a nice piano. So what I'm going to do is on the right hand side of the keyboard where I've got right one, right two, right three, Press the voice select button, the black button, and go and pick your piano. So I'm going to go for my pop grand, which I love. Increase the reverb a little bit. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
And I'm going to change the EQ on the piano to brighten the piano up. Perfect. Okay, I've got that. Press exit on the screen on the main panel. Again, let me just show you this one here. Press exit until you get to this screen again. You're back to your MIDI recording. Now all I need to do is choose one of the channels from 1 to 8. Do not mess with 9 to 16, otherwise you will be in tears, because it will remove parts of your style. We aren't doing that at the moment. Maybe in a minute, but at the moment I'm trying to find a location to record my piano. So I'm going to start on the furthest away from my melody. My melody is on number 1. So I'm going to choose number 8. So I'm going to press where the little picture of the piano is, and then it's asking me what voice am I recording from where? Well, I've got my sound on right one. So if I just scroll up and choose right one, this will now say, ah, I'm recording the piano that's on right one. Simply click OK. Now it's ready to record. So all I do is press play on the screen and away it goes. Uwak made a mistake. No, don't worry. I did on purpose. The thing with this is you, you don't have to panic because if you do make a mistake, you can simply stop and re-record. And all you do is do the same thing. Press the little record button underneath and start again. And then I press stop. So that's recorded my piano. Now I want to have some um, some pad sounds, maybe. So again, the same principle applies. Go to my voice select button over here for my right one. And then go to pad. And then we want a nice, nice pad sound. Where is a nice pad sound? Let me find a nice pad. Hot swell. Mm, nope. Uh, soft pad. Nope. Too wiry. We want. Nope. Too synthy. We want just a very, 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 very simple. Hmm, possibly. Yeah, we'll go with this. Okay, same principle applies. My piano is on number eight, so I want to record on number seven. So tap on the little piano that's on number seven. There we go, tap. Tell it it's on right one, my sound, not left, right one. Okay, and now it's in standby. I simply press record.
again, press stop. And you see the pattern to this. We've got our melody, we've got our pad, we've got our piano. If I wanted to put some choirs in there, go to the right one voice, choose the sound that we want. So let's go for the backup singers. Okay, come out of there. I want to record this on number six. So all I do is press record. See how quickly this can be done? One, two, one, two, three, four. Fine, record it. Added that to it. And you keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. Now, what I do want to show you is the fact that it, I'm going to turn off these additional parts that we've just recorded. This is the melody with the style. there's a piano already recorded in the style that's part of the style but it's a bit meh it's um it's basically the most um simple of piano phrases it's sort of a it's just following the chords so what you can do is you can actually choose to over record these so if i press number 15 where that piano is and then go up, scroll up and choose right one, where is where my piano is now. I can actually record over the top of the style. You ready? No piano. Now I can start to play. Okay, press stop. So instead of having a generic style part, now I've actually got my own piano part that I've recorded as part of the style section. You ready? Here he comes. makes your recordings more unique uh, and if i wanted to change the bass or the guitar part or the the keyboard part in this i can i can go in and say right okay i want to dictate what this piece is played as and i can say okay i want to play my own guitar part so on track 13 i'm going to go in and record a phrase for the guitar um Word of little tips here. Um, the guitar, well, I've just said to guitars. I wouldn't particularly change the guitars unless it was a very basic sort of strum because a lot of the guitar parts in the Genos in the styles use the mega voice, which give these really real articulations that you can't particularly get 
any other way than using the style. So I wouldn't recommend changing too many of the guitar parts, but certainly things like the keys or the pianos, where you've got a picture of an organ, I could change that. I could change the two piano voices. I could even record the bass line if I wanted to. If I knew that the bass line was a specific pattern and the Genos wasn't doing it, I could then get the Genos to, to record my bass part. The world is your oyster when it comes to recording with this keyboard because it is so, so easy um, given the fact that it's an arranger keyboard. It's so powerful. I mean, to have 16 channels to use in this way, you can even record um, using the free play styles and not work with a fixed tempo, which is just incredible. Um, so anyway, for, the, for this tutorial, we're going to leave it there because it's gone quite deep. Um, but basically, putting all the parts back together... So this is bringing in everything that I'm recording now. get the gist it's there it's there for you to try and play so play your simple melody in the um, simple easy MIDI recording mode and then drag the track into multi recording and try placing some parts on top it makes it so much more powerful and it's a lot of fun to be honest because you can go back if you make a mistake you simply go back and redo it it's it's absolutely simple 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 um, okay, so now until next time, have a lot of fun and uh, give it a try. Please, please leave some feedback. If you um, are watching this on YouTube, because this video is actually on YouTube, uh, 